day four my watermelon fast uh no problems really it's just uh, i don't know the calorie counter if it's if there is any sugar in it but uh, i really haven't really seen too many, too many results but uh, it's not as hard as water fasting that's for sure and dry fasting obviously is a whole another story but uh, watermelon fasting is easy i just w wish it would be as i don't know unless i can it's slowly working i just can't really tell but I'm, it's supposed to cleanse the body, so that's the reason why I did it. So I'm hoping that at least it's doing that. So I wish I can get a new scale soon so I can see if there's any progress going soon. I'm hoping to return my scale tomorrow and get a new one that actually works. So I can kind of gauge my progress and see if it's actually working. I can go on this for a long time because I really like watermelon, especially in the summer. So uh yeah day four is going okay just a little rain today I, when i went to go pick up my new watermelon for tomorrow it was a little rainy so but other than that uh still get a little lightheaded so i i put uh start putting some sodium in my water i'm just gonna drink a little bit of water here and there because i get a little lightheaded still and i do have a lot of gas uh i did have one bowel movement so far uh, which is odd on because when I've ever done any other fast, I've never had one before on a fasting uh, regimen. So uh, just a lot of gas, but uh, yeah, it's so that must be a good sign. I'm guessing that it's working uh, the gut. So I'm hoping that's what that's what it is. Is trying to get all the gases out and uh, that it's uh, working. So so far so good on day four. So hopefully day five keeps keeps rocking and rolling. It's a little warmer today. It's not raining, so at least so far anyways. So I'm uh, gonna continue, see how long I can go. Uh, I'd like to go at least 10 days. Uh, I don't know if I wanna go any longer because uh, I did buy some <laughs> food for refeed from my last fast, so I don't want it to go bad, so. But yeah, I could go, I could go 30, 40 days, no problem doing a watermelon fast because I could eat it like, it's, I think it's like six bucks I got it at No Frills last night for, or seven dollars. Or... They're all pretty similar, Walmart and uh, No Frills, and they're all, these prices are, and let's say, for all pretty much the same thing, I would think. So, but yeah, for like eight bucks a day, like, and then just a little bit of water on the side if I feel a little lightheaded. I mean, it's, that's, you can't get much cheaper than that, except uh, on the dry fasting, obviously, but uh, that's a little harder. Uh, I think I'm going to try another dry fast when it gets a little cooler out, so it won't be as rough. Maybe try a five-day dry fast next time. So just keep up the, I'm going to keep trying different things and uh, you know, just see how it goes. But uh, like I said, I've been doing different types of fasts for the last two years. So getting closer to 40, so I want to be healthy as I can. So yeah, just keep the journey and trying to different things so if you guys have any suggestions or whatever or something else I'm to try let me know uh yeah no so far so good on the watermelon fast like, like i said i'm going to try to do 10 days maybe longer we'll see how it goes but uh yeah just keep you updated on my progress